this is a point which may have been spoken about in one way or another you may have heard it in other teachings but the actual practice of it tends to evade because we are of course always thinking that somehow this is an imperfect moment somehow this isn't good enough or <clears throat> if there were just some correction to the present circumstance it would be better or closer to closer to perfect let's just try it another way what if this present moment was absolutely perfect as it is within this present moment reality exists everything you've ever thought of or apprehended as God the divine in it, its totality exists presently now take a moment then close your eyes if you will take a deep breath and as you allow that idea in see what happens as you allow that idea to be present within you what happens is there objections is there an argument of sorts is there cynicism doubt skepticism a what if yes but if only something one of the things that's helpful about this practice is if there are no doubts if there are no arguments if there is no discussion deepen into it go with it but insofar as some part of you objects to the very notion that in this moment everything could be quite perfect quite filled with peace quite okay quite balanced totally real authentic and true that voice that content content that objects that argues that discusses that doubts that brings in cynicism is itself the voice of separation and division it's the same voice that appears in your negativity it's the same voice that appears in your dissension and conflict it's the same voice that appears in your fights with others with the world now see it for what it is there may indeed be objections to certain conditions in the world or conditions and circumstances of your present relationships or the life that your personal choices has led you to that you've created that is is, per, is presently the case but that's not what we're looking at at the moment we're looking at a background which objects to the very fact that this present moment could be what it's all about and you see if those objections of that argument and that fight is in place clearly 
that moment can never come about because the inner voice of dissension won't, won't allow it. And it is indeed true that reality, the divine, perfect peace, love, understanding, is presently the case. It's not something that we search for. It's not something we have to do something to get. It's not some destination on some distant horizon. And if it's not that, if it is already here and present, in a sense more real than our experience of what is, then it follows that something has to adjust in our receptivity, does it not? Something has to adjust to the way in which we let in. You could say we're overfilled with inner objects, perhaps expectations, perhaps assumptions, perhaps a certainty somehow that it is this way or other. Perhaps experience layered on past experiences, just more past experiences, so that in a sense the present can only ever be a product of what we've already felt, thought, sensed and experienced. And if that's the case, then nothing will ever change from the relative point of view of separation we will always be there, we will always be like that. It's a kind of defeatism. Well, this is how it is, it's always like this. It's always going to be like this. <laughs> 